What's up everybody? Back with another one of these comment answering videos. I think I kind of love this. This is a way for me to give you guys more content and interact with you guys more. I'm obviously not going in as deeply with these as I do over on the Patreon channel, which I want to thank all the patrons first. I do monthly Q&As over there. I answer these questions in depth and I answer questions from as many people as possible. So if you're interested, head over there. Also the one-on-one -on -one video lessons. Um, most of the guys with those video lessons have hit me up, but if you're seeing this and it's still April and you haven't gotten to me, please do that so I can take care of your lesson this month. I know a couple of you guys were scheduling. Some guys were dealing with some injuries. I hope you heal up. As you know, I'm dealing with an injury as well, a sprained ankle. It's healing. Taught lessons yesterday though, and I can't really stand on the board, or at least I shouldn't really stand on the board. So it's a work in progress. Now, before I get into this video, I wanna highlight another sponsor of mine. I wanna give a big thank you to Ace Trucks. Ace Trucks are amazing trucks and I've been enjoying riding them for sure but another thing that I want to highlight that a lot of people might not know are a couple of things so this is Ace's AF1 hardware the hardware is hollow so it's lightweight now I am not the biggest weight guy when it comes to my setup I often find that I like heavier setups more it might have to do with my body composition but uh, this lightweight hardware definitely doesn't hurt because it is just hardware. And if you are one of those people who cares about how light the hardware is, this is for you. But what makes this so special to me is this hardware is splined, as you can see here from the graphic. So it locks into your board. Uh, and basically you can take it off without, you, without having to use two parts of the tool, which makes it easy, it makes it fast. No, it doesn't damage your board. I've been using this hardware and I break less boards now than I ever have. I have more muscle mass on my body than I ever have too. So it's not a function of my weight or anything like that. In fact, when I was like 175, 180 pounds, I was breaking boards all the time compared to now when I weigh 210 pounds. And I'm also using this hardware, so it's not gonna damage your board. This stuff is great, it's easy, and it lasts. And the other thing that I wanna highlight are, as, you, as a lot of you guys know, these freaking bushings the ace hard bushings so for the last I don't know like five six years I switched to bones bushings and bones bushings were great I used to ride the medium and then I noticed that the medium kind of got weird and they wouldn't last and so I switched to the hard the hard were good for a while now those are garbage in fact um, I put a set of the bones hard bushings on uh, just before I got injured and the day that I sprained my ankle so it was last Thursday it was April 11th um, I, I set them up on that Wednesday and by that Thursday the bushing had already started to pop out of uh, of the washer and now I used the washer that comes with the trucks this time didn't make any difference I didn't crank the bushings down I waited to tighten them so even though I had the hard bushings on they were still super loose which is which sucks for me can't pop as high as I pop like I've tray flipped up a five stair I could barely tray flip up the three stair at Lafayette Park with those tight trucks because you don't get the resistance it limits your pop also I'll get into this today because this is actually the subject of today's question when I squatted down I'm wobbling back and forth so I'm not able to get my bearings and pop and if you want pop you have to have tighter trucks I'm not telling you you have to have your trucks absolutely as tight as possible I don't skate mine that way I skate the medium so that I can turn when I want to but when I crouch I'm not wheel biting on the way uh, but these ace hard bushings are amazing and I never have a problem with it in fact the only problem I have is when I run out of trucks but this time they sent me the same amount of bushings as they did trucks so thank you to ace got them set up on this is my small setup so these are the 44s the gold ones I showed you are the 55s they're for the 8.5 deck check out ace trucks ace trucks thank you for sending me trucks long-winded intro let's get into this question so Time Matrix asks, and this question was uh, was was added to the comments of my can't land it, try something different. That's rookie mistake number 15. Check it out if you haven't. And Time Matrix says, what you said about kickflips and stability got me thinking. Even if I correct every rookie mistake, if I'm not stable, I won't land the trick. I'm five years in 
and still struggling with this. How do I get rid of that, quote, jumping in a rowboat, unquote, effect whenever I try to pop? I've tried some exercises from channels like The Daily Push, but it's been super slow progress for me. So I hinted at this earlier, Time Matrix, thank you for your question, thank you for watching, thank you for supporting, thank you for engaging. Um, the biggest thing that I noticed with that jumping in a rowboat effect that you're talking about where you're, you're, you're squatting and jumping and your board is just all over the place is that your trucks are just probably too loose to be stable when you bend. Now, you're five years in, so you are relatively experienced compared to the majority of skaters because most people quit before they ever learn how to kickflip from from everything that I've heard and seen and just from people that I've met who like skated when they were young and then they started up later it's like the kickflip is what stops a lot of people um but the thing is you look like an adult from your uh from your thumbnail image but you got a thicker beard than I can ever grow so I'm going to guess that you are an adult male uh, which comes with certain things, bone density, weight, and so you might have started skating when you were a little bit smaller and you think you're still skating with your trucks the way you were, but they're actually looser than you thought. Think about your trucks being looser. It allows you to turn. It gives you some leeway for things, which is why I used to like to skate loose trucks. In fact, I was a person who I used to pride myself in just putting my trucks on and skating them however they were and being able to jump on anybody's board. Like I remember skating when uh, 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 Ty Evans was filming uh, We Are Blood. I was skating with Jordan Maxim all the time because we were teammates and uh, he rode for Royal. And now Royal trucks, I don't think I'm saying anything shocking by saying they're not great trucks. I broke my board and didn't have time to take it off because I would have lost the mojo, lost the momentum. I was close to landing the trick. Did like a big spin heel flip board side on this rail on Jordan's Royals, which they turned like they had a tic-tac instead, uh, instead of a bushing. Like it wasn't a smooth turn like you get with these ace trucks. <laughs> it was like tic-tac, tic-tac, and he skated his trucks just as loose as I did. And the thing about it is, that was one of the things that made me stop skating my truck so loose because it was so hard to pop. I had to try so much harder when I squatted down to keep the board stable. And then when I landed, I kept wheel biting. And I, it made me realize like these loose trucks are making me wheel bite. Also, skating some stairs. Like I remember I tried to switch big heel this big three block and I wheel bit it. I landed on my board like 50 times on the bolts, perfect, not leaning and just got the wheel bite and couldn't roll away. And I like ripped a hole in my pants and like cut myself up. I had those scars up my back. And I just realized, you know what? I'm gonna have to tighten my trucks up. I'm not a little boy anymore. And I'm not skating transition or doing slappies. Like if you're doing slappies and wallies and colorful tricks like that, having your trucks loose is great because if you're out of position, you can shift back in. If you're the type of person who likes to skate ledges and you're not doing anything extremely technical, then by all means, your trucks can be extremely loose and it's not gonna make that much of a difference. But if you're a beginner, if you're trying to learn how to do a trick and it's like your body is fighting against you to do it, you don't wanna have another variable, your trucks being so loose that whenever you try to squat down, even if you squat down smoothly and, 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 and straight, you, you still get speed wobble. Guess what? That rocking back and forth is just a function of how loose your trucks are. So if you've done all the stability exercises you can do, and you're still only making really slow progress with keeping your board stable, I would wager that your trucks are probably a little looser than they should be. Now that doesn't mean you can't loosen them up later on, because like, I can honestly skate my trucks loose still. I've been having to deal with it skating. I filmed a trick on a big high ledge in the street on rough ground, did long no slide, and then 270'd out of it, like a front side 270, and I caught a lot of wheel bite, but I, I was able to get away with it. I had to wax the wheel well of my truck in here. That's what you do when your trucks are so loose that you're getting wheel bite. Or when you're skating something so high that you get wheel bite even when your trucks are medium. Um, but if you look at like Chris Joslin, his trucks are tight because he's skating big stuff. If you look at Ryan Sheckler, when they're skating all those big giant things, you better believe their trucks aren't loose. And if you're trying to pop high also, trucks aren't gonna be loose. Tiago Santos, not skating with, uh, not skating with, uh, loose trucks like his trucks are probably about medium from what I've seen um, the people that you're gonna see with the looser trucks are people who utilize that wobble to their advantage so if you look at Chris Cookie Colburn when he does certain tricks if you look at Frankie Villani and they have styles 
where you would use loose trucks. But Cookie, I can speak for uh, myself. Frankie, I did skate with when he was younger and it didn't seem like his trucks were that loose when he was like young, big spin front boarding the 13 stair shotgun rail over here in Elysian Park, Frankie. When I went and filmed a segment with him up at Woodward when he was still a young guy figuring out who he was as a skater, but his trucks changed as the tricks he did change because it was necessary. But if, if you're a beginner, if you're learning the basics, it's not gonna help you out at all to have loose trucks because you probably don't have core stability and stability everywhere else to keep the board straight while you're squatting. It's gonna take focus away from the actual execution of the trick and you just don't want that when you're learning. Uh, now when you go to learn, go to do slappies, when you go to skate a little mini ramp that's not too steep, go ahead, loosen your trucks up. It's not gonna make that big of a difference. But when you're, when you're trying to do kickflips and stabilize your board and you say you've done all of these stabilizing exercises and things like that, it's probably gonna benefit you to tighten your trucks up a little bit. I recommend just going up to medium. I learned everything on the tightest tricks possible and it was horrible because uh, trucks weren't very good back then, which was a part of the reason why most of us skated them tight. And so first day you'd land on them and they'd turn and then they'd turn that way for the lifetime of the trucks, the bushings really. We didn't understand as much about skateboarding back then. So changing your bushings wasn't even as common. In fact, I didn't really know anybody who changed their bushings until I started skating with people who were like sponsored and stuff like that. Like the average skater never really changed out their bushings or everything like that. It was a different time in the 90s and in the early 2000s than it is now. People are so much more educated. And this is another point where I say, medium trucks, medium trucks, medium trucks, especially for beginners. And then if you are, if you're still struggling to keep the board from wobbling, tighten them up as much as you have to, and then compensate for it by where your body is, where your posture is. And then eventually, if, if, if having looser trucks is a goal of yours, for whatever reason, you think it looks cool when people have loose trucks, everybody tells you you should skate loose trucks and you want to do that i'm not here to tell you what's the right thing to do i'm just here to tell you what's going to make it easier for you to learn and if you're getting wobble when you're bending and when you're popping you're not able to stabilize your board the the culprit is most likely the trucks they're either too loose or they're your bushings are messed up because you like stuck on them really hard at the beginning and so they're turning while you're trying to bend and keep it straight which if it's that it's easy to remedy change your bushings but uh, from what I see all the time, especially these days, I'm gonna guess it's that your, uh, yeah, your trucks are probably too loose for you to keep them stable. That's all I got for this. I want to keep it as short as possible because that intro was long and this was a little more long-winded than I hoped it would be. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for asking questions. Ask more questions. I'm going to do one of these every week and over on the Patreon channel, I'm going to answer a ton of these. So if you join, you can join at any level and you get to submit a question to the Q&A. Um, there's really not as many Q&A questions submitted every month as I'd like to. So if you want to join, you want to ask a question, go ahead and join and submit your question. Um, today is the 17th, so I'm gonna, I wanna answer the questions by the 20th, so get in there, ask those questions. Also check out my company, Collage Skateboards, www.collageskateboards.com, and then you can buy them from www.clubdist.com. Got some cool new graphics, peace.